Real quick, I want to make a video for some people don't know uh, the differences and similarities of a Cobra M112 Eaton Supercharger. That's what you have right here, um, kind of a parts piece. And then also I have two Lightning uh, Superchargers here. I feel like I'm qualified to talk about this because uh, basically I have ruined a bunch of superchargers across, uh, across my owning of this truck. Um, this is the first supercharger that came from a factory. It's a 2001 uh, supercharger with a SVT snout on it. And um, basically the, uh, at about 70 something thousand miles, I went to go put an eight pound pulley on this blower. And within the data logging process of getting that tune and getting it going, uh, it quit. Basically it started making noise, got really hot. And so basically it, it just uh, needed a rebuild. So I sent it off to a place uh, to get uh, rebuilt and CNC ported and uh, it lasted at that point it was supposed to you know be full max effort basically another i don't know 10,000 miles something like that um not not far and so again that was an eight pound uh pulley then uh i actually bought a second blower that's this one right here and it looked pretty ugly but it was you know a usable core all the all the rotors and everything were fine sent it off to that same place rebuilt ported and actually painted too um, and it quit as well it makes noise now too and so um, anyway I have some experience with these blowers and uh, just kind of kind of been through it first I'll start with the similarities um, you can see that the snouts are um, physically you know the same exact thing uh, there's no no difference in what you see here uh, between a Cobra and a Lightning um, also, the rotor pack is um, the exact same dimensions. Um, there's just one small difference. We'll cover that a little bit later in the video. So behind here, you can see um, there's straight cut gears in there, and then basically a coupler that unites the three pins driving on this side to the three pins that are driving on the uh, actual supercharger side. It's pressed on there pretty good, but you can see there's a pin, there's a pin, there's a pin. And basically, this uh, coupler in here uh, transmit, transmits that motion from the snout to the rotor pack. These blowers, when they come uh, from the factory, they're all this, this gray color like this. Um, it's actually kind of a nice, I don't know if it's paint or powder coat or whatever it is, but I really like it. Um, I prefer it over a paint um, or whatever this is. Um, this, this stuff really holds up well. It's pretty chemically resistant. It's nice stuff. Um, if at all possible, I would say, um, try and keep that intact. As far as their name is concerned, M112, uh, that is 112 cubic inches per rotation. So each time, uh, the rotor pack spins, that produces 112 cubic inches of air to be, you know, force fed into the engine. And that, that 112, um, you know, there's M1, there's M112, M122, M90, a bunch of different, um, Eaton sizes. And the 112 cubic inches equates to roughly 1.8 uh, liters. So, you know, if you're going to compare that to, say, some of the newer 2.3s and 2.6s, and they get up into the fours, they get kind of rowdy. So, um, it's relatively a small supercharger in, for sure, in 2024. But even even back in, in the day when they came out, they're they're a little bit on the smallish side. As far as the snouts themselves are concerned, uh, they come with this lettering, this Ford SVT lettering, um, based on the year of the supercharger that you have. My understanding is that all Cobras come with the Ford SVT. Um, for Lightnings, um, you can either have blank, Eaton, or SVT. Um, it's not really a hard rule, but um, generally the 99 to 2000 say Eaton, 2001 and up are SVT, and then the Harley um, trucks, the Harley F-150s, had um, typically the blank. It was just, it was just nothing written here. Of course, it's been you know 20 years now. Uh, it's very likely that you know even your you know apparently original supercharger would have been rebuilt or swapped out for a core or something like that. So kind of all these superchargers by now have potentially all been mixed around and, and serviced at some point. So something you want to consider when you're purchasing uh, you know say a replacement supercharger or something off a of Craigslist or something, you want to pay attention to what year you have. So if you have a 99 to 2000, the bolt pattern right here where it bolts to the lower intake manifold, those are not you know standard across all the years. 
Um, my understanding is that you can make just about anything work, but you got to get the right combination of pieces. And um, the superchargers themselves can be re-drilled to work with the older um, plate. So I actually have a fourth supercharger in that truck right now. It's actually one I bought off of uh, Facebook. You can see if we get down in here um, that the bolt pattern for this, this is a 99 to 2000 supercharger. I'm on the um, driver's side of it right here. You can see that that bolt pattern is different and not um, you know, even across there. So that would be um, just something to look for if you're you know, particular about your 99 to 2000 or 01 and later. Obviously it's easier to you know, get what you need, but you, know, you can see what I did there. Basically just come in there and drill um, the holes to be right. And obviously that's a little bit on the hillbilly side, but it works just fine, um, no issues that way. Another thing to consider if you have a 99 to 2000 Lightning would be the, the differences are um, an 80 millimeter math, uh, mass airflow sensor and a nine row intercooler. Uh, that's one, one difference. Uh, the later ones, 01 and up, have a 10 row intercooler and a 90 millimeter mass airflow sensor. So next we can talk about the uh, snout, the upper pulley here. And basically, Lightnings have a 2.93 inch uh, supercharger pulley. That's the smallest option that you could get, which leads to the highest speed, you know, blower speed. Um, the next up would have been the 3.25 inch uh, pulley. It's just a, a little bit larger, and that's on a Harley pickup. And then Cobras, um, as they came out of the factory, were 3.65 inch uh, pulleys. Oh, and yeah. you can see here. Um, this has been swapped, this specific one has been swapped to 2.93 and of course that would be equivalent to either of these lightning pulleys that are sitting here. That's a pretty common uh, modification, uh, especially in the early days uh, for Cobra guys that they, they kind of came out and instantly went after the lightning uh, pulleys for obvious reasons. The lightning and the Harley pickup have the same um, caged lower. Um, this thing can be a real bear cat to get undone right here. This this is reverse thread and of course it's quite a bit larger around than the little um, piece that you have to actually drive it off. So um, this can be a real bear cat but basically um, the important thing is it's the same size for a Harley and a Lightning pickup. So Lightning from factory, you're talking, you know, 13, 13, seven, something like that quarter. Uh, it'd be pretty tough to work it down in the low 13s factory. And then a Cobra blower, you know, you're talking maybe mid 12s, something like that for a factory blower uh, in stock form. Um, obviously you can try and turn these up, you know, gain maybe, I don't know, pretty easily 100 horsepower um, by pulleying and porting and doing all that fun stuff. But in factory form, that's pretty much where you're gonna be. So now we covered a lot of the, you know, similarities or pretty close to similarities. The real obvious thing here is you can see that um, the entry direction is like massively different on a Cobra versus a Lightning. So a Lightning, I don't have one sitting here, but um, we're probably all familiar. There's a plenum that comes up and it curves over uh, to get down into the, um, be the driver front uh, wheel well, basically like behind the driver's uh, front headlight. And so on a Mustang a Cobra, it actually has a totally different rear entry. So it's entering the rear of the supercharger rotors rather than the top. And then this, uh, this normally would have a long air intake that goes down into the behind the front passenger headlight. So just basically completely different. So I'm, I'm sure they probably didn't want to make two super, different superchargers. Um, you know, it would be convenient manufacturing wise to make one. Um, but you'll notice that basically both of these superchargers mimic their packaging after what was actually there in the pickup. So for example, a 5.4 Ford would have the intake um, and air box and all that good stuff, again, behind the um, front driver's headlight. And same with the, um, the GT Mustangs, like a regular two valve Mustang has the air intake going off to the other side. So there would have been a lot of other considerations. For example, if you try to, try to use this blower case and set up all on a Lightning, you'd have to move all that starter solenoid and the battery would have to re be relocated. We're talking separate harnesses, quite a, a mess of different things. And then say you were trying to put this blower on a Lightning, or excuse me, on a Mustang, it, it definitely could happen, but you basically are not gonna have a hood because this thing's gonna stick up and that throttle body is like sitting like right here right in front of everything so it just really wasn't a one size fits all option obviously the the snout and the rotor pack works but the cases are kind of their own thing 
So kind of a sneaky difference between a Cobra and a Lightning is the actual Cobra rotors themselves, this would have been 0304, uh, they have like a different, um, you know, coating on it. It's like a rougher kind of a coating, uh, just, just different in general compared to the Lightning uh, rotors, which you can see just a little bit of that Teflon still on there. That Teflon is like um, kind of like hard and uh, like brittle, like almost like aluminum foil or something like that. It's like it's like has thickness, and when it flakes off, basically, and it will flake off, especially if you pull them. Basically, what happens is it can get lodged and drag in between the actual rotors in the case and screw up the case. Whereas um, when this comes off, you know, it just kind of wears off, but it's in just like dust, dusty like particles not like large shards or like flakes. And so um, a lot of people prefer Cobra rotors if you were gonna pick a setup. In fact, it's not uncommon to find lightning guys taking Cobra's, Cobra rotors out and putting them in lightning cases. Some people strip um, their rotors, but obviously that is a certain amount of dimension. And as you strip that away, Obviously there is a larger gap between those rotors and it's just not as good of a seal and uh, you know it's rumored that it, there is actually some boost loss there as well. One other thing to point out too is that the, um, the elbow here is removable and same with the plenum on the Lightning. You can see that this uh, Cobra blower has had um, some work done to it as far as um, porting and whatnot. And then also um, both of these Lightning superchargers have had uh, some CNC porting as well. You can see like right here this wall gets pretty thin um, to where the standard gasket no longer works. You have to use RTV or some flange sealant or something to get this to actually seal anymore. So now we flipped over the superchargers and you can see on the bottom side, this is the Cobra one right here, you can see these markings. These are like kind of a blueprint of how, um, it's actually my buddy, how he's going to possibly uh, port this. He has a Kenny Bell on his car, so it'll probably, this blower will probably never see work on that car again. And then this uh, supercharger, this is the Lightning again, underneath you can see the supercharger um, silencer ports are filled with some sort of epoxy. Um, this was done prior to me owning it. I bought it that way. Um, and anyway, you can also see the outlet side here has been milled away and they take out a fair amount of material. This is basically just a rounded off triangle similarly, uh, similar to how, what this looks like. And then you can see the silencer ports here are not filled. So then here would be the, um, I guess my original supercharger, which does not have silencer ports filled um, with the epoxy. It's just uh, open right here, and this is, would be kind of more of a factory look. All right, so I hope I added some clarity here for your, you know, eating questions. Basically, you have, you know, lightning and Harley blowers for the 5.4 two-valve trucks, and then you have the four-valve uh, Cobra blowers. That's what you want for your 4.6 applications. So um, you can mix match if you want, but um, it's probably going to be more uh, pain than it's worth. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys learned something, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.